Good morning and welcome back to Gardening with Bunny. So today I just wanted to give y'all an idea of how we did with our container garden. Um, right here we have okra and it's not doing so well. Um, I want to kind of give y'all an idea of what worked for us, like the things that grew well in the containers for us. Some things did, some things didn't. Um, if you go back at and look at past videos of the container garden, you would see that we actually had cucumbers out here. We had tomatoes out here. We had the watermelon, which we still have out here. But for us, and we had them in four gallon containers. For us, the bigger crops like the cucumbers, even this okra that we have here now, um, the watermelon and the tomatoes, didn't do so well uh, we actually have squash that's starting over here I don't know if we have time to grow it before it gets too cold but we're just trying it like an experiment to see how well it would do if it does grow before it gets too cold but it may be too much of a like it's a bigger crop so it may not do well what happens is it gets root bound and it can't grow to its full potential, so it can't produce to its full potential. However, we did have a few things that did really well in the container, in the containers. Um, basically, we had these marigolds. They're, I mean, I'm sure they could do better. I feel like they could do better. I think they're probably root bound as well. But, I mean, I get some flowers. I just kind of cut them off and take them in the house. But I think they would look prettier if they were in a bigger container because I have seen some in a bigger container in other gardens and they produce more flowers and they look a whole lot better but our greatest thing okay sorry I had to kind of stop the video I got a phone call but as I was saying the greatest thing that we grew in containers and it was a Dollar Tree container at that was these peppers you see how crazy they went like do y'all see this like they did so well and they're still growing like I don't really take them off because sometimes I don't cook anything to use them with but what I do I just come out here and I clip some like and put them in the eggs or if I'm making tacos or spaghetti um I don't really eat beef, so I kind of use the plant base, but that's cool. If you eat beef, that's cool. You know, cut it up, chop it up, put it in your beef. And it's more fresh for me if um, I cut them up when we're about to eat them. And then we have the green peppers over here. Those were the only two um, peppers that we did this year, but what will happen next year we'll just put like more peppers different varieties of peppers out here these are like the smaller um green pepper bell peppers they seem to not get that that big but i'm leaving them out longer and they seem to be getting bigger but um we'll like kind of put different varieties of peppers out here or whatever i think that'd be pretty cool and we know that they'll be successful so that's pretty great as far as this watermelon over here we cut it up to try to see if it wouldn't get a disease or anything because the first one got a disease but we did get one really nice sugar baby off of it and again it's one sugar baby growing on it and it has some kind of disease um if i figure out what it is i'll enlighten you guys but right now i don't even know what it is but the sugar baby was pretty good when we you know clipped it off and ate it but again it was only one so it's really not worth using for us it's not worth using the soil so much soil or whatever to grow one watermelon when we could put it over where we had the other watermelon or whatever that'd be kind of better for us and last but not least we have all of the herbs all of those babies did well and these are all Dollar Tree containers so they all did really well the deal never really grew if you can see that empty pot over there next to the chives 
it never really grew unfortunately but i'm gonna put some more seeds out there and see if maybe i can get it to grow but yeah the herbs did so well but basically i just wanted to show you guys what did well for us as far as our container as far as our container garden excuse me and that'll be it because that'll be all because that's all we have out here that's all we tried out here so thank you guys for subscribing to the channel or watching the video if you do like anything that we talk about or uh, or whatever please subscribe and like the video and share it and thanks to everyone and remember to love everyone and have a great day bye